One key warning sign for a cult is that they have a leader who wants to control others. Do people do what you want them to do? Well, I suppose you could first ask, do I want to control others? No, I don't. In fact, I couldn't think of anything worse than trying to control somebody else. Why, why is that such a bad thing? Well, it's do? a terrible thing because it, whenever you try or attempt to control somebody else, you're trying to manipulate their will. And, and one of the teachings that I'm teaching of divine truth is that nobody should manipulate your will. You should engage your own will positively. And if you engage your will positively, you, you'll get positive results. And if you engage your will negatively or out of harmony with love, you'll get negative results. So I, I don't want to control somebody's will. I would like them to have control over their own will. Yeah. And, and that means me not telling them what to do, but rather that they learn how to do things for themselves. So, so to me, it's a very bad thing to attempt to control the will of another person. Mind you, I see lots and lots of religions doing it mm -hmm. and lots and lots of political parties doing it. And, and, and in fact, if you have a good look at around, around it, most business organisations on the earth are all trying to do it, yeah. which means all of them are cults by this definition. Mm -hmm. um, and, and yet it's something I don't do. I don't have any desire to control other people. I don't have any desire to make them feel, feel controlled even. Mm -hmm. But it is important that they do understand that there are laws, God's laws, that govern the results of their actions. Where If their actions are in harmony with love, then God's laws will, will reward their actions. And, and if their actions are out of harmony with love, then God's laws penalise their soul for their actions. And, and we need to understand these particular laws that are in function all the time in the universe. But why would one individual ever wish to control another? At the end of the day, each person needs to do their own thing. Mm -hmm. And then you get to see the real person. Mm -hmm. You get to see what's coming from their heart. You get to see what their real desires are, what their real passions are. You get to see the real personality. So this is why I don't even want to control you, mm -hmm. you know, my person who I'm in a relationship with, with because... If I tried to control you, then I wouldn't be getting you, the real you. I'd be getting you, the person you think you have to be for my sake. Yeah. And that's nothing like having a decent relationship at all, in my opinion. And in fact, every relationship I've ever observed that does that is a terrible relationship and certainly not something that I would like for myself. Mm -hmm. So people seem to think that just because I'm claiming to be Jesus, that I have, to have a desire to you know, take control over them, but I'm basically saying, I'm Jesus, so you have to listen to me. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying I'm Jesus, certainly, mm -hmm. but you don't have to listen to me. Nobody does. Mm -hmm. and, and in fact, the majority of people on earth don't, actually. Yeah. And yeah. the majority of people on earth never have either <laughs> listened to me. Evidence is the reality that we have on earth in terms of all the wars and the trouble and the strife and the pain and suffering. If you listen to me you would have had a different result. So, yeah. so this is all evidence that you're not listening to me and also evidence that I have no desire to control yeah. what you respond to in terms of what I say. Yeah. So I, I, find, I find, again, this is another question that's asked to us quite frequently, and yet if I look at the world's religions and what they do and the world's polit politicians and what they do, this is the kind of thing they do, mm -hmm. and yet I'm being accused of, ha of running a cult and I don't do it. Yeah. And I find that quite amusing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you find it amusing. I don't often find it amusing. <laughs> no, I don't well, I just find it amusing that often uh, we are accused of what other people, that in fact, many times the, the very person who's accusing us is doing. Yeah. And, and I find that very amusing when somebody who's actually doing it to me um, is attempting to control me and belittle me and manipulate me and do all of the other things, tells me that I'm doing that, you know, like, I know I'm not doing any That's, of those things. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> sort of ironic, yeah. Well, it's an indication, isn't it, that uh, just because a person feels, most people on earth feel that they can use the term cult and then brand that with any, uh, to anything they don't like and then if every, everyone will believe them. And I think the proof of anything is, in the in the works that the person achieves or does yeah. and if anybody looks at my life they will see that i have no desire to control any single person and i resist very strongly any desire on their part to be controlled yeah. I, I don't even engage when i know when a person does want to be told what to do i won't even tell them what to do yeah. always leave it up to their own desire and their own opinion and that's because i feel very strongly that they need to learn how to use their own will yeah, yeah, yeah. so 
So, so many other people don't. There's, there's other people around the world who claim to be Jesus. Of course, they're doing exactly what these people were accusing them of. And they, they are running a cult because they are telling people what to do, bossing them around, you know, giving them, doing all of these things that are the signs of a cult. Mm -hmm. But just because I'm claiming to be Jesus, it doesn't mean that I'm doing the same thing. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong in this assumption or this understanding, a lot of people historically who have controlled the lives of other people, they've lived in close proximity with a lot of those people mm. and they've used sort of threats and blackmail and emotional and physical techniques mm. to keep, to actually physically and emotionally control those people. Mm. Now, just from a logistical perspective, because it's just you and me living alone in the bush yeah. and we hardly see anyone. And we don't have a compound and we don't have any play people living with us or anything like that. It, it's practically impossible to control anyone. Exactly. Yeah. And the people who have, moved, who have moved out here, as the media have suggested, most of them have moved away now because they, they thought that they were going to be involved with something that they imagined that they were going to be involved with and not understanding my desire at all mm -hmm. and not understanding that I was never going to tell them what to do and I was never going to, you know, make their life for them. Yeah. So, so the reality is quite different to the accusation. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.